This is an introduction to Scottish contemporary artist Gary Brander. Gary Brander trained at Glasgow Art School. He was born in 1983. He entered art school at the age of 24, which gives him a certain maturity, and uh, completed his degree between 2007-2011. This was a period really from the 90s when there was significant emphasis on conceptual art and Gary had to fight the system uh, at Glasgow Art School in order to pursue his desire to paint, uh, but a very determined individual. He is a landscape painter uh, with a modern take and a very traditional form. Uh, some of the influence of that uh, comes from Tyree, his maternal side, his mother's side uh, family came from Tyree and as a young boy Gary spent a lot of time there on the beaches playing, passing hours, building, constructing things, losing time. So he was very familiar with the beaches, the cottages, the scenery of the west of Scotland and indeed the way of life. He comments that in these days it was a very agricultural economy uh, where he now sees a degradation, much more of a tourism base. Compositionally, he chooses essentially an, uh, an impressionist uh, base, um, drawing you know, from uh, buildings that he, he would uh, have observed, uh, but then it becomes expressive, so he's using a post-impressionist technique, throwing colours, expressive colours in, uh, to the Impressionist base in order to elevate his message. Painting he chooses uh, midline broadly, separating the painting to slightly elevated position, which is quite typical. One of his great influences was Edward, the US artist Edward Hopper, who used this frequently elevated base of the clapboard buildings uh, in America. Chooses a very bright blue sky, in this case no clouds, in order to emphasise a beautiful day. And then this almost semi-abstract pace, thick brush strokes, lots of colours thrown in, in order to emphasise the beauty, the water line, uh, the lovely the influence that the lovely white sands have on the water, creating this turquoise. Compositionally he makes it interesting in the design sense, and. It's a painting that you would enjoy for a long period and see different elements of as you look at it. If we look at the conversation, what's he attempting to say? Well, Gary, having come from the islands and observed that piece, he's no, he doesn't like city life. Um, he, he doesn't enjoy the pressures that come with city life, the materialism, the distortion. So he's reminding us, very deliberately reminding us that there is a more natural life uh, sitting facing us uh, and he's using this device to show us that. Deliberately high key colour palette also he's almost going back to his childhood view that energy and freshness that a child has in looking at something. Uh, he's using this palette uh, in order to give us a lift. You know, we might live in a city but with this in our wall we're going to look at that and enjoy it. Enjoy a bright day Rather than grey clouds, we're going to enjoy the colours that it throws back to us and we're going to you know, get a sense of what he wants to achieve of uplift. 